How's it going guys, Squishy B here. Um, before I get into details on what we're working on here, I wanted to uh, draw attention to the music in the background. Um, I know I've spoken a lot about uh, DeMello Beats and the stuff that he's doing over on his channel uh, recently, but um, this track here, he got in contact with me and uh, agreed to compose a couple of exclusive tracks for me, um, which, is, which is really, really awesome, and this is one of them, and um, I absolutely love it, and I love everything he does, and this is um, no exception to that, so it's going to be used in the new intro, which has come in as well, so uh, I thought I'd just uh, give him a quick shout out here at the beginning and say, yeah, go, go check out what he's doing, seriously, it's, um, it's fantastic stuff. So yeah, what we're working on here is a uh, poster for the game Dishonored. Uh, I think it was released late last year sometime. And um, I'm a little bit late to the party, but with my uh, son being born around the time of its release and second child as well, it didn't leave a lot of time for video games. So um, although I owned it, I'm only just getting around to uh, playing it now. And I tell you what, I really, really do like this game. Yeah. I think for me, uh, with video games, it's all about the art direction and the setting and um, I, th I suppose that's why Bioshock's probably my favourite game of all time. I just loved everything about it and this game has got that feel to it again as well. I can sort of see the content becoming fairly repetitive after a while but at the moment I'm still enjoying it and uh, it's, it's, really, it's really, really fun. Yeah, I struggled for a while with the composition for this one, uh, trying to get it right. I wasn't 100% happy uh, with how it worked in the end, but then when I uh, coloured it up, it, it didn't look too bad, so I thought I'd release it anyway. Uh, one of the things that I didn't notice was Corvo's mask. Corvo is the guy in the background. He's the uh, main character that you play. In the game, it looks... Um, well, it appears a lot different to what it does was when you look at it in detail. Obviously, it's still got that steampunk vibe, which is, which is awesome, but it looks really uh, sort of pieced together, disjointed. It's got strings that hold it together and stuff like that. You can see it maybe on the right there. And uh, in the game, you don't really get a good glimpse at it. And uh, when you do, it, it, it doesn't appear to look like that. So um, when I saw it, I was like, oh, you know, the, the idea of what I thought was in my head was a, <laughs> a lot better than what it actually was. But... Uh, still very cool. One of the questions I get uh, almost daily, or you know, even a couple of times on every video, is uh, regarding Wacom tablets. Which one I use, and which one. You know how to choose how to tell the difference between the different ones what is the difference between the different ones and, and my history with them so I thought I'd spend a little bit of time now just uh, going over my history with the tablet everything I'm about to say is purely uh, you know my opinion it's not fact-based uh, any facts that I do have are probably incorrect so just keep that in mind I mean what works for me may not necessarily work for you but um, I figure I'd uh, share my thoughts on it anyway so in today's market, it's actually a little bit easier to make a decision on a tablet um, because there's less models than when I started. Um, when I started, I started uh, with a with a tablet that was called a Graphire. And basically, where that sat in the range was there was your um, Bamboos, then you had your Graphires, then you had your Intuos, and then you had your Cintiqs. And I bought the Graphire just to try things out. Uh, and I found it okay, but I, I couldn't really get what I wanted. I couldn't get the results that I wanted with it. Uh, the surface of it was really, really smooth. It had like a uh, plastic uh, covering over the top. And uh, so it didn't really simulate, like moving from paper to that uh, tablet was, was kind of difficult because uh, of the surface of it. I think you could actually slide photos underneath it to, to draw on top of it, but um, I never actually found a use to that. But um, but anyway, so after that, I decided, well, uh, probably the, the um, thought process that a lot of people have, and that's the most expensive is the best. So I moved over to a Cintiq, so I actually skipped the Intuos completely. And the Cintiq, um, and they range from, in Australian dollars, about 1500 to three grand, depending on which one you're looking at. I mean, the really, really big one. I never actually got the really big one, I got the small one just to try out and then if I was kind of, you know, if I was happy with it, I would probably have to move to the 22 inch one. But I actually found the same thing with that, I, was, I had some trouble with the surface of it, it was very, very smooth, uh, so drawing on it felt 
a little weird. The response on it was was really good, and having the um, the actual Photoshop display on the screen meant uh, you know you could get a lot of detail is fairly accurate. Your hand-eye coordination um, wasn't as big a deal as it is with the um, like the bamboo and the inchworks because you're not looking up at the screen as you draw. Um, however, it, it, I still wasn't a hundred percent happy with it, and um, so before sort of making the decision, I actually picked up the inchworks. And the reason I decided to go with the inchworks and or what its major difference is over the graphire. Obviously the Cintiq is the one with the display um, on the actual tablet, so the Intuos and the Graphire at the time, which basically is now the Bamboo, um, is a, if you look at the text vex, it's a little um, number called the pressure levels. Now my Graphire had, I think at the time it was about 256 pressure levels, and that basically means, um, you know, how much sensitivity it can have obviously you can change the settings and stuff like that so when you're using your pen um, you know the, how smooth it is you know the brush lines and stuff like that and also the um, you know you know the variation that you can get with strokes and from I went from 256 with the graphite which as I said I you know wasn't really happy with and then I picked up the Intuos and it had I think it was around 2000 uh, or 2,500, so it was a huge step up, and um, instantly, I, um, you know, it was perfect. It, um, you know, I was getting the results I wanted fairly quickly. Obviously, um, I still had to develop a bit as an artist, but but back then that was um, exactly what I was after, and um, I felt that what I was um, doing with my hand, it was actually being displayed on screen, which was great, and um, exactly what you want. Now since then the Graphire has been uh, phased out completely from what I can see, there's no uh, talk about it on the Wacom site, it, it looks like there's about four different types of bamboos. Now keep in mind that it's been about three or four years before I've been in the Wacom market, I've had my Intuos for that long and, and it still holds up. Uh, there is actually a new model out, I use the Intuos 4, there is an Intuos 5 but uh, I've had no real need to upgrade at this point. But looking at the pressure levels on all the bamboos, they're all uh, 1024. So um, they are actually already a lot higher than what the uh, graphire is. So um, so that's um, so that's really good to uh, see. They must have removed that and then um, you know pushed up that bamboo is uh, tech specs quite a bit, which is fantastic. Now the uh, Intuos itself has 2048, which um, is the same as what mine has. So the new Intuos has about the same and. Um, you can tell the difference between those two pressure levels so if you do have a chance to try out both I really recommend having a look at both of them um, the thing that I really love about the Intuos is its surface I spoke earlier about the graphire and how it was a hard plastic surface it sort of felt like you were drawing on ice but um, the Intuos is a lot different it's got a um, it's a bit hard to explain but it's got a, uh, a funny little texture on it which which feels a lot more like you're drawing on something, maybe not paper, but uh, you know, something of, of similar style and it makes a huge difference to me and um, probably another thing to look at as well when you when you are looking at, um, you know, choosing one. The other thing is, for me, size. For me, I use the uh, large uh, version of the Intuos. There is a small, medium, large and an extra large. And the reason why I don't have the extra large is because it just won't fit on my desk. Because I use the keyboard with it, I don't actually use the um, hotkey things on the side. I need to have my keyboard in front of me as well, uh, switching between you know the different tools. So um, that's the reason why I don't have the extra large. But surface area is um, really important when you're looking at purchasing a bamboo or you're looking at purchasing any um, any tablet at all. Do keep in mind the size of the tablet um, because you don't want to be drawing on a postage stamp. I know some of those smaller things are um, really, really tiny. It's same with the small Cintiq. Um, I find, you know, I think it's a 12 inch one, I find it was really, really small. Uh, that was one of my other gripes with it. But, um, you know, other than that, that's the major difference. The things to look for again is um, the surface. So if you get to go into a store and have a look, see what the difference is. I haven't seen the new bamboos personally, but um, I do recommend doing that. Also have a look at your pressure levels. Um, also have a look at the size of the tablet. And um, of course, 
price is an important thing as well. The Intuos is considerably more pricey than the um, than the bamboo, so maybe for getting started, the bamboo is the way to go. So hopefully that helps out a little guys, um, please feel free to ask me any other questions you may have or if I didn't cover anything off, other than that, um, please follow me on Twitter, that would be totally awesome, and also on Facebook, the links are all in the description below, and um, other than that, take it easy guys.